peace y'all happy uh fourth of july weekend um and probably for most people started uh july 3rd in the evening because uh you're punching a clock head to work uh thursday off right friday saturday sunday today sunday um out here cutting some grass we uh we cut the uh the yard what, what i call the yard on on uh, thursday actually i believe it was fourth of july we cut uh this here round up around the front round the tree and uh groom the driveway when you put that sucker all the way down in, into the lowest position it's almost like a a, a, go a golf course green it's that tight it's that that short i like it and i like to burn the driveway down the bit that i want to be paved eventually or whatever uh, I like to burn it right down like that, you know. Um, it makes it easy to, to park the trailer and all that stuff. And that's what ended up what we did. Richard and Kenny came over. Thanks, bros. Appreciate that. Uh, yesterday, we had a little barbecue, uh, cooking some hot dogs and bratwurst uh, that were um, leftover goodies. Um, me and Kurt up a Grattan split from the, uh, the Dave Larson Memorial Feast up there. Uh, very cool, you know. Um, we overbought, but that's okay because Kurt said the same thing. I mean, he had 24 pounds of hot dogs. I had 24 pounds of hot dogs. Um, he had uh, a, a big, I don't know, what is it, 12-pack of bratwurst. I had a 12-pack of bratwurst. And uh, and we each were able to, we are the shopping for 4th of July was already done a week in advance. Uh, so Rich, Rich and Kenny came over, uh, helped me unload the back of the truck, moved the trailer, uh, over back over to the side get it plugged in um, burn down the, uh, the the grass on the driveway with the push mower what was left in the middle where everything was parked uh, old Chuck's yard you can see over there is uh, at one point it's almost knee high uh, we need to get over there we haven't cut that and it's been two weeks uh, since now today cutting cutting grass so uh, actually yesterday would have been two weeks so we got to this. This doesn't grow as, as quick as this is the side 40. And I'll show you what I'm doing. The reason I got the fan running on old Bessie here is she's been working hard. Uh, we got about half of it done. We went back and forth across the back, up and down the side a little bit, and across the front uh, at least twice. But what we're doing is we're trying to eject all the all the mulch, all the clipping, all the grass clippings to one side so we don't get what you get when you uh when you use a a big a big tractor mower what do they call that thing brush hog you get big huge ejections of grass it turns yellow you get it almost i don't know it almost looks like before they roll it up into balls the straw you know or whatever um but i'm trying to just blow it all one way so it, it's it's pretty it's pretty hard work for this thing she really i mean she's doing it she the old cub cadet is kicking butt and taking names but this is some pretty thick stuff here, uh, all this here. It's just clover and weeds, um, not a heck of a lot of grass in here. There's some, but um, you see where it ejects it out on here. And uh, the grass itself is, uh, if, when it stands straight up and down, it's a good, it's a good six, eight inches in some places, man, where it's, where it's, it's pretty thick. So it works pretty hard across here, it gets a little easier, and then it starts working pretty hard up that second half so we figure we'll give her a break uh, we don't want to overheat this thing I'm keeping my eye on the oil and everything uh, we may have to put an old uh, DT6 e Digitron on that spark plug on that bad boy and uh, yeah 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 keep a keep an eye on the temp um, we certainly don't want to damage that thing uh, this is our first full season running on that thing right well we, we bought it late last year and got to use it a couple times but uh, for the most part she looks good i haven't sharpened those blades but i know they've been beat uh, i know they've been beat up bouncing off of uh, uh dirt and, and and bricks and rock down the back side over here uh even some stumps where we we stubbed it right off at the ground but you know when you she rides like you know you'll get especially over the roots around these big trees so um, that dulls things down. So eventually we're, we're going to have to, uh, we haven't changed oil in it yet. She's got 33, 34, 35 hours on it. Um, it had about, what, seven or eight hours, I think I said, when we bought it. So it's about time. We're going to, we'll, we'll, we'll get to, uh, truck needs some work. We're going to do a little um, oil change and some, uh, some transmission uh, 
what do they call it? The um, the Ford has the um, uh, 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 shutter, the transmission shutter, and I've used that stuff before, and it worked really well. Um, it's just after a while, it's a viscosity issue, is what it is. Um, when the the torque converter, when you get on the torque converter, pulling the trailer, or, or at just at certain speeds without the trailer, it, it's like a harmonic thing. It, it and uh, it's got something to do with the viscosity of the, the fluid. And they're like, oh, why don't you change the fluid in the filter? Millions of people have done it, and it doesn't make any difference. They've taken it to the dealer, um, had the whole thing, you know, suck dry, redone, new filter, new screen, new this, new that, get it back, does the same thing. So it's, it's an issue with that particular transmission. They put it in a bunch of Ford vehicles. Uh, some even Dodge and Chevys have this problem. No big deal. Uh, it just, at this point, it, it's got the... It, there isn't a, a dipstick or a fill tube. You got to go underneath and remove the plug at the top where the dipstick would go in because it's forever transmission fluid. Who knew, Henry Ford? Um, so we get in there and, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll drain a little out so we can put some more of the shutter stuff in, get the oil and filter and stuff changed on it, new air filter. She's not getting the gas mileage she used to. We used to, when we first got it from Sherry's company, we could go, I could go all the way to Grattan and back on the same tank of gas, and we can't do that now. So we know it's not, uh, it, it's not getting the performance it did gas mileage wise, but she's got, she's got over 200,000 miles on her now. So, um, you know, it had 174 on it when we bought it. So it's not that much different, right? Just figure while I'm taking a break, letting old Bessie cool off, uh, show you exactly what we've got to deal with here. Um, she's doing it. And I'm taking my time. I told Sherry just to cut the side 40 day. It's probably in duration going to take four hours. Uh, we started at two. Let's take a look at the phone. Yeah, two, two fifteen. Yeah, two o'clock or so. It's already been an hour and a half. So it may be another hour and a half before we're done with this. So three hours. That's usually, you know, four hours, four, four and a half with weed whacking and everything on the mower. So it took about three hours to cut the yard uh, on, on Thursday as well. Although it wasn't as quite as high as this stuff here. Um, I actually went over it at on four, which is all the way up the, the cut level, and then went to down to three and a half and went over it again. Um, don't think we're gonna have to do that here. This, you know, I mean, it already looks pretty darn good, you know? So maybe we needed a little overgrowth and 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 you know from we were doing circles all the time maybe a nice nice cornrow look is the way to go for the fourth of july hope you all are having a good time um you know independence day right uh i think a whole bunch of people in this country have lost focus on what all that means uh, i'm not going to give you a lecture but uh i'm sure grateful for those who um for those families, people and families, uh, complete generations that gave gave their gave their lives, and and some you know guys that gave up their their money and their homes and their property and stuff and invested everything in in uh, in the future of this place, and now it seems we got a bunch of scumbums up in Washington that want to turn it all back into a, a crap hole of some some kind of deal like what's going on over there in the UK, you know, be be ruled by England again or something, or ruled by somebody. That doesn't have the, our, our best interest in mind. So, as long as I'm breathing, I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna roll over for that. I hope y'all aren't either. Um, so we're gonna go over and sip on some water, sit in the shade, let old Bessie get cooled down, and then we'll put her back to work. Just wanted to check in with a little update. It's been a week since uh, since since the uh, the race at Grattan, where we went up and uh, just kind of hung out and spectated and, and uh, spent a lot of time talking with folks and and uh, you know this this is the this is what happens when you fall off the swimming pool and you're 59 years old and you land on your ribs the ribs feel pretty good I'm not certainly not nowhere near a hundred percent they're still tender and there's some muscle and and tendon or or some kind of soft tissue damage that's still going on or I still got to wear Rich's uh, hernia belt at night when I sleep but I can get in and out of bed pretty darn good. I can even lay on, on, my, on my right side now and sleep. It kind of hurts a little, um, but I'm, I'm kind of introducing that as we go.
<laughs> we'll be out here burning this, uh, burning up this brush and stuff here shortly. Um, not going to be able to get garage. I've kind of reserved myself to the fact that the garage itself and the back room isn't going to get straight. I won't be able to work on any of that stuff until winter. The wife's got her uh, uh, flower pots down. She's been potting flower. There's just crap all over it. Right now, I can't even work on, on the Blue Demon in the garage. But after uh, after this weekend, she goes back to work. I'll just shove her stuff, whatever it is, up back up onto the shelf, man. Um, we don't have no time to play this game. Uh, summertime is the only time you can run the go-kart, so we need to get working on it so we can do that. Uh, we got mm, about... Six, six weeks or so, maybe a little more. Um, see, it's the seventh, so we probably got seven weeks to uh, the 26th of August when we go back to Grattan. So we're gonna get the new Paul Martin brakes. We didn't show you that stuff yet. We ordered a bunch of new Paul Martin stuff for Richie's uh, vintage cart. He doesn't want to screw around. Um, I feel the same way he does. We know where the cart came from. We know the history. The, the single owner was our buddy. Do we need to keep it uh, as purchased at OEM? No, mm -mm. nope. Rather it be ha have new modern stuff that works. Um, you don't intend to race it, so it doesn't really much matter. And like I said, the, the, the nostalgia of it uh, is not there for us. So he's gonna be selling off the whole brake system. That, that was all that engineetic stuff is gonna go. He's got some air-cooled rotary valve motors that are gonna be up for sale as well. Some slippy pipes, Hartman slippy pipes and stuff like that. So we sell off some of that stuff so he can uh, enjoy a day of, of, of gassing the daylights out of that little ARC uh, up here in August, again in October. And I'm, man, I'm gonna try, fingers crossed, I'm gonna try to talk him into going over to Gingerman and maybe, uh, maybe we can tag team the sprint cart. Maybe we have two sprint carts ready. Maybe the Yama dog has a body on it and he can, he, you know, we can, we got the whole adjustable pedal and brake system on that, remember? So. Nice to be able to put that to use and put him in that thing and just let him go turn laps, man. And we ain't got to be serious about it. But while we're there, have a good time. Bring the kids, Brooklyn and Braden. Um, may have somebody looking at Bray's spare go-kart. Um, we got to make some room and we could use the dough. So uh, we got a lot of projects to, to work on and pay for. And uh, we're not making no money doing this. So, and, you know, we don't care. But Godspeed. God bless y'all. Hang in there. We're praying for you. Pray for us. We need it too. Uh, we're staying away from. We did vacuum the pool um, uh, right after we got back from uh, from Grattan, but we did not do. We didn't get anything. We didn't. We didn't get too crazy with that. We did all of it from the deck, and then the rest of it from the ground. So, trust me. Robert's learned his lesson. Glenda, Randy, Todd down there in Tennessee, uh, Brent out there. Frank Dolly and his and his uh, and his kid Sean, guys, uh, it was uh, good spending the weekend with you under the canopy. Chuck, my buddy Chuck, sorry, we'll bring you some some of that damage report as well. But the canopy got loose, bounced off his car, took out his awning on his RV, and uh, thank God, thank God, it ended up working out in his advantage. He ended up making out on this deal financially, so that's a blessing. That's a good thing. Um, like I always say, there's a uh, uh, there, there's a, 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 a reason for everything. Everything happens for a reason. Um, there's purpose for your pain. There's a, a, a bright side to every dark, dark turn. So um, just keep looking up, folks. Jesus is coming. And uh, we're hoping not before we get the grass cut. Talk to y'all. Hang in there. It'll get better.